Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Vault. My name is Rob. This video is the January pickups, stuff that I've picked up throughout January and added into the collection. So let's just jump straight into this video. Okay, so first thing sent to me was actually a review uh, for review. I haven't reviewed it yet. It's coming up on the channel. I have the video done and all. This is Trap, the Lost Noir Classic. This is released by Flickr Alley. It is a um, 1949 uh, noir thriller b-movie crime thriller type thing uh lloyd bridges is in there and uh i forget the actress's name it's gone out of my head at the moment barbara payton um really cool sort of backstory about her as well in this one uh, they thought this movie was kind of lost and somebody sort of donated a, a print and um yeah they were able to do this uh, fantastic restoration on this one so this is a dual format as well dvd blu-ray and region free so that one's flicker ready so stay tuned for my review of this one coming up on the channel Next one up, I picked up a few of these in the January sales. Uh, Natalie Portman, Jackie, a fantastic movie. Um, I'm kind of into the JFK assassination and all that sort of stuff. And um, I saw this movie a good while ago. Natalie Portman is fantastic in this. If you haven't seen it, do give it a look. Uh, 2016. Um, yeah, I got that cheap in the sale on Blu-ray. Next one up, uh, box set. I was gonna pick this up at work. So if you if you're new to the channel and thanks to all the new subscribers, um, I work in a DVD bookshop and I'm also a cinema projectionist. And I have another YouTube channel about that. I'll link down in the description if you fancy checking that out, projection videos and stuff. But um, we had this in the shop and work, and I was gonna buy it for a while, and then it was out of stock, and I ended up not getting it. Uh, it through work, and I got it then online uh, off Zavi. This is the fantastic blu-ray box set it's the marlena dietrich and joseph von sternberg at paramount 1930 to 1935 blu-ray box set this is indicator fantastic stuff i'm going to take this slip off here and show you guys there's a really cool artwork on the front there side and the back lists all the movies so the uh there's a fantastic booklet in this as well. So the movies included here are Morocco, Dishonored, Shanghai Express, Blonde Venus, The Scarlet Empress, and The Devil is a Woman. Um, I've never seen any Dietrich movies over on Sternberg, and I just the box set looked pretty cool, and uh, I was just kind of interested in checking out some old films. So that was the next one up. There is uh, the six movies in there, as I mentioned. So that was a pretty cool collection. And um, this is actually limited edition, they're numbered, so this is 3756 of 6000, so uh, pretty cool to have those numbered uh, in your collection. Next ones were all definitely in the January sale, uh, so the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I did a video about these on my old channel. Um, I have never seen, I haven't seen most of these movies, I remember running some of them as a projectionist. So the, the Marvel Studios Cinematic Universe, the Blu-ray box sets, these are collector's editions. They have some cool, um, what are they like, uh, like postcards and posters and stuff like that included in the set. So um, there is four box sets of these um, and I looked them up and I kind of thought like they're, they're pretty decent price during the sale, the January sales. So I got the first three and then I picked up the fourth one uh, after that I got it cheaper. So this is the phase one Marvel Cinematic Universe phase one box set. So this box set includes Iron Man, Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America, The First Avenger, and Avengers Assembled. Um, I've only watched Iron Man out of this so far, and I haven't I haven't seen any of the other films ever, so um, pretty cool. They're a nice kind of made-up box set. And um, next one, of course, is the Phase 2 box set. Um, same there. So this one includes Iron Man 3, Thor The Dark World, Captain America Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers Age of Ultron and Ant-Man. Again, I haven't seen any of these. I remember running some of these as a projectionist. But uh, yeah, Phase 2 Blu-ray box set. And then Phase 3 uh, was divided up into two box sets. So Phase 3 Part 1. This was the last one I got the three of these in this in the sale. I think they were like around 30 euro or something like that, knocked down from 80 or 90 euro in the sale. So that was pretty cool. Again, collector's edition Blu-ray box set. This box set includes Captain America Civil War, Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, and Thor Ragnarok. And um, again with the posters and the postcards and stuff in there, if you can see on the back. So I couldn't uh, have the set incomplete. So the phase three part two box set, um, it wasn't full price, but it was discounted down. So I held off and got this a, a couple of weeks after these. Um, so again, yeah, Phase 3 Part 2. This box set includes Black Panther, Avengers, Affinity, Infinity War, 
Ant-Man and the Wasp, Captain Marvel, Avengers Endgame, and Spider-Man Far From Home. So again, I haven't seen any of these at all, and they're in the uh, in the pile to be watched whenever I get a chance. As I said, I've only started the first box set phase one, so I've watched Iron Man so far. But uh, yeah, let's move on in the collection here. Another January sale, uh, JFK Director's Cut, as I mentioned earlier, I love this movie. I picked this up with Jackie on sale, uh, pretty cheap off Savvy. Um, I have like an, a Director's Cut on Region 1 Bl uh, DVD actually from years ago and I didn't have it on Blu-rays. And I, there is a pretty cool collector's box set, but it's a bit too expensive for my liking. So um, yeah, fantastic stuff. JFK Blu-ray was the next one up. Then these two I got in work. We were doing a two for 30. Um, big fan of Winona Ryder and you know if I can add anything in at some point I will. I have seen this before but I didn't have it in the collection. This is uh, Great Balls of Fire, the Jerry Lewis uh, movie. Uh, Dennis Quaid, Winona Ryder and Alec Baldwin and uh, has this pretty cool uh, slip on there as well and um, I don't know if this has reversible. No it doesn't. Uh, I was going to say it has reversible sleeve art, but it doesn't. And I like when the slip is kind of different to the uh, to the cover underneath. So, um, yeah, that was... Um, I wasn't going to pass up a Winona Ryder Blu-ray for 15. Two for 30, as I said. So that was the first one up I picked uh, out of two for 30 in work. Second one I kind of took a chance on. Again, I'm a fan of uh, Helen Mirren. So if I see a movie, I'll pick it up. Um, so I saw this Arrow video of The Long Good Friday, uh, Bob Hoskins in there as well. I've never seen this, so I um, picked it up. And this is a fantastic movie, really, really enjoyed this British gangster kind of thing. Um, sort of all takes place over uh, the day of Good Friday. And uh, this Arrow release comes with um, reversible sleeve art. There's the other one inside. I just preferred this kind of old school, the, you know, the kind of paint and drawn style, uh, 80s style. Uh, movie poster so um, yeah I recommend this one if you haven't seen it check this one out the Long Good Friday and um, next one again January sale pick up uh, the complete collection for now Deadpool 1 and 2 love Deadpool seen both of them didn't have them in the collection and um, I was checking these out in 4k and again just the price just wasn't right and blu-ray is, is still pretty pretty great looking in anyway so um, it's the two of them in this kind of as you can see there on the video kind of a shiny metallic box and um, there is the two of them in there. Deadpool 1 is just Deadpool and Deadpool 2 is the super duper cut. Um, fantastic, hilarious movies. Um, if you haven't checked those out, give those a watch as well. Next one was a review that I've actually done here on the channel. Uh, one on one films, Prince Sign Out of Times. I will stick a link up in the corner if you want to check out my review of this one. Fantastic uh, live concert performance. Uh, Blu-ray, really, really cool. And the uh, I really like the purple uh, Blu-ray case that I one on one have gone with here in this release. Nice touch. And um, the initial run of this comes with some art cards. They're in there. And um, yeah, check out my review if you want to know more about this one. Next one up was actually a customer came into the shop and work and sort of recommended this um, and I, I decided to check this out. This is a Warner Archive release, uh, 19, 1944 Gaslight uh, starring Ingrid Bergman, uh, Joseph Cotton and Charles Boyer. Uh, really fantastic old movie, really well done. Um, nice uh, 137 to 1 aspect ratio on this one. And um, yeah, as I said, Warner Archive, so I picked this up through, I can't remember if it was Amazon or eBay. Um, it's not, I don't believe it's available like in stores. It's like the Warner Archive, uh, Born on Demand type thing, uh, DVD. Fantastic movie. If you're into old stuff, check it out. I'm trying to kind of uh, watch a couple of older movies. So um, recommend this one, Gaslight. Next one up was a review uh, from Umbrella Entertainment. I, this was the last video on the channel. So I'll stick a link up here. Iron Fists and Kung Fu Kicks. The Kung Fu Martial Arts documentary, absolutely fantastic. Really, really enjoyed this. If you're into Kung Fu Martial Arts or you kind of just want to, a great introduction this is if you want to kind of get into that stuff. Uh, they talk about a bunch of actors and actresses and a bunch of movies and stuff. And uh, yeah, definitely recommend this one. This is a DVD, so Earn Fists and Kung Fu Kicks. Next one up, again, Umbrella Entertainment. This was a review copy sent to me, um, the kind of horror movie Bliss. I have filmed my review of this and it's coming soon, uh, so I will say no more than that and uh, stay tuned to the channel to check out that one. This was a DVD copy sent to me by Umbrella. And again, Umbrella Entertainment, another review copy. Uh, first time to Blu-ray ever, fantastic stuff. Coneheads, uh, 1993, isn't it, I believe? Uh, I think it's 93. Um, loved this when I was a kid and uh, I have reviewed this again here on the channel, so I'll stick another link up in the corner if you want to check out my review of that. 
and uh, as always umbrella they come with um reversible sleeve art so you can get rid of the australian the the writing there on the front so uh, cool stuff that's a blu-ray and um, first time to blu-ray ever so if you're interested in this check out umbrella's uh, website um, or the link in my video review next one up uh, was a pickup in work um, I didn't actually realize that we had it and I, again I've never seen this movie we ran it uh, uh, ran it in the cinema like as a projectionist um, a while back it's the Belle de Jour Catherine Deneuve um, French movie um, really interesting kind of book um, I don't know what you call these kind of book style uh, there, there's a kind of a book sort of built into the kind of um, cardboard case there and these uh, these kind of weird um, disc holder kind of thing in there but um yeah, I've never seen this Studio Canal collection. This is from Blu-ray, uh, Region B. Um, yeah, there seems to be a bunch of bonus stuff on here as well, documentaries. I haven't gotten around to watching it yet, but um, yeah, quite interested in checking this out. Um, you know, sometimes there's a lot of customers come into the shop and kind of recommend stuff. So um, yeah, I was interested in checking that out, so I picked it up. Next one up is a review. It's just a, a review disc, so I don't have a cover art to show you, but... Uh, this is a movie called Under the Shadow. Um, this is not coming out until the 10th of February, so uh, I have will have a review of this coming soon. I have to keep the review closer to the release date. Uh, second Sight Films this is coming from, so check back on the channel if you want to uh, check out a review of that. Um, I believe it's a kind of uh, maybe a horror sci-fi type thing. Um, yeah, intelligent thriller. So yeah, check back to the channel for that if you want to find out my review of that one. Next one up was another pickup in work, a uh, horror one, Lucio Fulci's The Beyond. This is the Shameless release. Um, I stuck a picture of this on Instagram, This is really, really cool. Shameless numbered 2K edition. So this is number 2016. I'm not too sure if you'll pick up here, but the uh, the box is basically like the cover art, the slip is see-through. You'll be able to see my hand in there behind it. Um, really, really interesting like cover. And again, with the, with the back, it's, you know, you can kind of see through the... Uh, the slip cover in here and the disc and really really the, the artwork kind of just caught me and I haven't seen I don't I don't believe I've any Fulci stuff in the collection here and I hadn't seen this one and it's a pretty crazy movie to be on if you haven't seen it um you know it contains strong horror and gore uh gore violence and um, definitely gore violence so uh check that one out uh the beyond and uh, last one here that I picked up for January another horror uh, again I'm working on a customer kind of recommend that this is a Japanese um Horror movie, the Eureka Masters of Cinema, number 148 released. This is House or Houseu, Japanese horror movie, uh, a film by Nobuhiko Bu Obi Obayashi. Uh, butchering that name, apologies there. But um, yeah, fantastic. These uh, Eureka releases are really nice. You kind of, uh, the disc's not in it because I'm still watching the movie at the moment. There is some nice inside artwork there, cover art, pretty cool. And again, there's like a booklet here, uh, really 44 page booklet like Eureka. Some of these, some of these other uh, labels put out some really fantastic releases with the booklets and stuff in there. And um, you know, uh, the back of this, it's really, it's a really one of those kind of weird Japanese movies, uh, an unforgettable mixture of bubblegum, team, melodrama and grisly phantasmagoria. <laughs> crazy stuff and um, that was the last pickup for january so um yeah that's gonna do it for this video guys thanks for watching uh let me know down in the comments if there's anything here you have or you know if there's i uh, haven't watched most of these so if there's something i should watch next let me know and um i'll check it out and uh yeah thanks for watching if you like it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please consider hitting the bell to get notified every time i post a new video if there's any type of video you want to see here on the channel just let me know in the comments i'll try and get it done i do have some requests to do go through my laser disc collection and my vhs collection i'm going to try and get those videos done as soon as i can bumped in with the kind of reviews and stuff here so uh yeah just stay tuned for those thanks for watching guys and i'll talk to you on the next video